Welcome back to PA Live. It is Thursday after all, it so very fitting that we get our Times Leader Media Group update with Circulation Marketing and Sales Specialist John Nolan, also our co-host for the day. Thanks John, for welcome. Me. Thank you. Thanks for still being here. Of course. <laughs> so let's get into it. There's a lot happening at the Times Leader there right is. now and a lot going on with the Luzerne Foundation, which yes. we also love here. So tell us more. Yeah, we had a really big day yesterday. We got to go down um, and participate in the Luzerne Foundation's forum with our Times Leader Book of Dreams Fund. So we were able Fun. to disperse $10,000 out to four different local charities in our area, which was just a really wow. great thing to be able to be a part of. So how does that work? The fund exists and we can go online, donate to it, and then it's a matter of deciding where that money goes? Yeah, so the Book of Dream Funds is set up through the Luzerne Foundation and the Times Leader, and mm -hmm. people in the community are available to go online and make donations to that, and then um, yearly as those donations are collected, we work with the Luzerne Foundation to disperse those funds to deserving organizations in the area that are doing yeah. nonprofit work. There are so many too. I think if, if PA Live has taught me anything, it's that there really are so many people who are so passionate about the work that they're doing and a lot of them really need funds. So what was it like to be a part of that process and giving them money out? It was an incredibly humbling experience. We yeah. heard from over 30 organizations that came in requesting money and it was everything from um, you know the KISS Theater Group which we, we made a donation to mm -hmm. um, to WVIA who's trying to put together a library of job resources, um, adopt a single mom, um, I Am Mobility which is doing um, kayaks for people with disabilities. So it's amazing. just it was so amazing to hear all these different organizations in our area. Yeah, so, so much fun going on and you know, I imagine being in that room, being a part of that process has to be a cool experience and it shows you kind of the, I don't know, the ethics of the company you're working for, that's got to feel good. It was, it was a great experience. Um, I tapped our, our advertising manager, Diane, at one point during one of the, the speeches and she handed me a tissue because she could see it, which is, it was yeah. a very touching thing for, for all of us in the room to, oh, to kind of hear these stories. So nice to see, and we can still donate to the Book of Dreams Fund? Yeah, that donation is available anytime people can go on and, and once a year with the Luzerne Foundation, then amazing. we can make that donation back. Oh, amazing, and, and that's just one of the many things that's going on at the Times Leader. A big thing that we talk about a lot on PA Live is the princess party. Another princess party it's coming happening. up, yeah. We're really excited about that. That one's going to be November 13th at Capriati's down in cool. McAdoo. So we're moving um, a little bit south to, uh, you know, some of the people who may not be able to make that drive up to Dallas every yeah. time when to experience this. So we're going to bring it down to them. Because it's been so successful at Dallas it and we've had it at the Beaumont. And is that right? And then, yes. and now, you know, you're just extending it to more of the community. For someone who's totally unfamiliar, though, with the Princess Party, what's it all about? Uh, the Princess Party is just a really great afternoon. We typically do it up at the Beaumont Inn and we have a ton of different princesses. Um, I know Merida has, has been been there and we have some of the new uh, princesses from Encanto that have, have mm -hmm. come as well so it's just a really great afternoon out with, with some snacks and, and some time with the princesses that Such these kids typically wouldn't get. Family event yeah, too which really I love. Is. Yeah. Um, another thing before I let you go tonight's a big night at PNC Field for yes. the YP Awards and you were a part of the promotional materials. I was yeah I was we're very lucky PNC to be asked field. to go up there and uh, talk um, you know as the announcer for the video that we put together with Cole Creative and the Greater Wyoming Valley Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. um, and the Scranton Chamber of Commerce Young Professional Group too. So and great the rail riders. And the rail riders, yeah. yeah. some heavy yeah. hitters, no we kidding, did. in yeah. this in this video. So glad you got to be a part of that. That's all happening tonight. So if you're not doing anything, you can head up to PNC Field. We heard about that on PA Live too. John, always good things happening at the Times Leader. Thank always you for being fun. here and thanks for staying as of our co-host. Of course, thanks for having me stay. <laughs> of course, of course, you guys don't go anywhere. Actually, before we take a quick break, we're going to get a little look at our entertainment news for today. We're talking Michelle Obama and much, much more. Here's your eye on entertainment report from Danya Bacchus. Which one of you did that? Santa Claus is coming to town, but this Nick no is no saint. Time for some season's beatings. David Harbour plays a Santa who takes on a team of mercenaries after they break into a wealthy family compound on Christmas Eve. Violent Night hits theaters in December. Oprah Winfrey, David Letterman, and Ellen DeGeneres are among the celebrities joining former First Lady Michelle Obama on her book tour. The Light We Carry book tour just added seven stops to her month-long six-city tour, which begins at Washington, D.C.'s Warner Theater on November 15. Just days after Loretta Lynn's death, the Grand Ole Opry has announced it will honor the country music icon this week. The Grand Ole Opry's 97th birthday week shows will be dedicated to Lynn, a 60-year Opry member. And on tonight's episode of So Help Me Todd, Margaret and Todd work two seemingly unrelated cases, only to discover a key piece of information in the details of Todd's could help Margaret's high-profile client. Catch a new episode of So Help Me Todd tonight on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus.
so much good entertainment to look Lots forward of stuff to. Happening. I gotta circle back to Michelle Obama. I love the Michelle Obama documentary that yes. they did about the last book tour, and I read her book and I loved it. So I'm excited to read this next one and experience the tour. I hope they do another Netflix I special. I would imagine they That'd would. That'd be really yeah. cool. But I love that she kind of brings in other famous faces and her famous friends Definitely. to be a part of the process. So I've got a question for you, John. All right. If you, <laughs> Michelle Obama, <laughs> if you had a book that you were going on this big book tour across all of America and you wanted to bring in some famous friends to, to help share the experience and shape the experience, who would you pick? Oh, um, man, I think I'd have to tie that uh, local go with the screen. I think I would go with Rain You're Wilson from The Office. You are such a big Office guy. I was hoping I you would pick I someone am. Office. Rain <laughs> Wilson would be a very interesting moderator. I and would I'm love sure it. there would be lots of laughs. I would think. I'm going to piggyback off you who and you go also with? go with an Office pick, Mindy Kaling. Ooh, Kelly nice. Kapoor, if you're an Office fan, I love Mindy. And again, I think they would be some high energy, I think so, funny. yeah. We'd get some Scranton, we'd get some Office blurbs, which would be fitting if yeah. either of us wrote a book, which would that be would so be perfect, fun. yeah. I love it. Well, we're looking forward to that Michelle Obama book and all that other great entertainment news. We always appreciate Donya Bacchus for giving us that. Guys, next up, we've got a real treat for you guys. The Adams Family is here. Don't go anywhere.